Good morning, everyone. This week's Torah portion begins, and God spoke to Moses, Bahar Sinai, at Mount Sinai. And of course, Mount Sinai is the location where the Torah was given on the holiday of Shavuot, 3,336 years ago. And our rabbis ask, why was the Torah given at Mount Sinai? Why that particular mountain? And our rabbis answer that it's the smallest of all mountains. And God wanted to teach us humility. That when we approach the study of Torah, we have to approach it with humility to receive the word of Hashem. But the question then is, if the message that God wanted to communicate was humility, and therefore he chose the smallest mountain, why give it on a mountain altogether? Why not just give it in the valley, in the plain, on a flat surface? And one beautiful answer, which is so relevant to our lives each and every day, pertains to the counting of the Omer. We don't just go from Passover to Shavuot. We go through a 49-day counting of the Omer to prepare ourselves to receive the Torah at Mount Sinai. Now, normally when we look forward to something, we count down 10 more days to go to this great trip or to a wedding, eight more days, seven more days. You would expect us to count down 49 days, 48 days, but we don't count down, we count up. And the reason is because when we are looking forward to reaching a destination, a goal, we count down how many days left. But when we're counting an achievement, like I've been working out for 10 days, 11 days, I've been uh, exercising, I've been you know, off the substance for so many days, then we count up because we want to take every day and count it as part of our achievement. So today is the 26th day of the Omer. So we're saying 26 days of growth, of preparation. We're taking the days with us, we're not discarding them because each day represents a step forward in the progress to receive the Torah. And that is the message of Mount Sinai. You see, we all know when you see a mountain, you want to climb it. You want to get to the peak, you want to get to the summit. And the experience itself, it, the journey itself, is part of the growth. You don't just want to get to the top. If you're climbing a mountain and a helicopter comes along and says, hey, I'll give you a lift to the top of the mountain, you say, no, thank you. Because the goal is not just to get to the top of the mountain. The goal is the climb, the actual climb, the progress that we make every day in our lives. That is the great satisfaction in our lives. We don't want to just arrive. We want to achieve and grow. And that is what is unique about human beings. <clears throat> Everything in this world doesn't get better. It stays static, inanimate objects. It is what it is. They can't choose to improve. As beautiful as a home is, it is what it is. It's not gonna get more beautiful. Even animals cannot choose to improve and become a better animal, a more refined animal, a more sophisticated animal, a kinder, more compassionate animal. Even angels can't improve. They're angels, they can't get better from day to day. We are the only creatures, creations of God that can improve every single day. And that's what the counting of the Omer is all about. And that's what the receiving of the Torah at Mount Sinai is given to us for that purpose, to improve our lives every day. And that's the greatest joy and satisfaction. As someone once said, nobility is not being better than someone else, but being better today than you were your former self yesterday. And that's why God taught us humility by giving it on the smallest mountain, but gave it on a mountain to teach us that we have to keep on striving and growing. No matter how far we are in our personal climb, never be content when it comes to spiritual matters. Always strive for the next rung, for the next peak, the next summit on the mountain climb. Tell the story about Edmund Hillary, who was the first person to climb Mount Everest in 1950 in May 29th, 11.30 a.m., he reached the peak of the mountain 51 years ago. Many people had attempted and failed. He was the first one to succeed. But he himself tried climbing Mount Everest one year earlier in 1952, and he failed. When he came back to the bottom of the mountain, the reporters were waiting for him. They said, how do you feel? You did not succeed. You didn't reach the, the summit. And he looked at Mount Everest and he pointed to the mountain and he said the following words. He said, Mount Everest, you beat me this time. 
but next time I'm going to beat you because you have done all the growing you're going to ever do. But I'm continuing to grow. And sure enough, a year later, he reached the top of the mountain. That is the gift of the Torah. It guides us on how we could perpetually climb higher and higher. And that's the message of God giving us the Torah at Mount Sinai. Let us continue to climb in our lives onward and upward. Have a wonderful day.